Hey everyone, this is Leadbetter17P. For today's vape review, we have a review on a new sub-ohm tank that I just picked up. Uh, just got it today in the mail. And it is the Arctic tank. I've heard a lot of good things about this tank, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And uh, I like the Atlantis, so I figured I'd give the Arctic tank a shot. Since people say it knocks the Atlantis on its ass, pretty much. So, um, let's take a look at it. Uh, this is the Arctic tank. I have it on my MVP 3.0 right now, uh, firing at 26 and a half watts. So not bad. Uh, you have four airflow holes on the bottom of this tank. One, two, three, and four. So you get tons of airflow. Uh, obviously removable drip tip and everything else. Uh, this is the packaging that it comes in right here. Uh, it does come with two coils. Uh, I have one coil in it right now, which is the 0.5 ohm coil. And it does come with a 0.2 ohm coil, which is the one that's in the box right there. So we're going to go ahead and actually take that out of the package and take a closer look at the 0.2 ohm coil, since the coils are pretty much the same. So let's take that out. Get this out of the little plastic packaging it's in. It's in a little plastic bag. If we can get it out of there, there we go. It was in there pretty good. All right, so that is the coil for the, uh, I almost said Atlantis, for the uh, Arctic tank. As you can see, huge, huge holes in the sides of this coil for juice flow. Uh, has organic cotton inside there, uh, as you can see. Probably can't see too well, camera doesn't want to focus. A little blurry, but there's a vertical coil in there as well and I said this is a 0.2 ohm yep this is the 0.2 ohm and it is nice it tells you the wattages you can use this one at it says 30 to 100 watts on the side of the coil uh, your airflow in your tank will come through these holes on the bottom of the coil right here there's little holes and that's pretty much your coil head uh, these are rebuildable. You can rebuild these. Uh, these are pretty similar to the Atlantis coils. Uh, like, for example, this is an Atlantis coil and this is the Arctic tank coil. So they're pretty similar. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of differences. This one's a little bit smaller. Uh, it's built a little bit better uh, and has better flow for the juice. So. Let's go ahead and take the uh, Arctic tank off of the MV MVP 3.0 and we'll actually pop the tank apart real quick. I already got juice in it, so uh, we're just going to flip it upside down just for a second. Let that juice drain back down. Now you got 510 connection here. This whole bottom piece just unscrews like so and you have your coil screwed into it right there. So it's pretty much how it's set up. You fill your tank from the bottom. So let's go ahead and put this back together. And we'll give it a quick vape. Alright, make sure that's on there nice and tight. Make sure my airflow is wide open. Flip that back over. And we will put it back on the MVP 3.0. Alright. Now let's see if it'll fire. Yep, it will fire. So let's go ahead and give this a vape, and we'll show the vapor production with the Arctic tank, with the 0.5 ohm coil. Not bad at all. Uh, like I said, I'm only running at 26.5 watts. Uh, I haven't bothered to try to up it all. Uh, I'm just running the same wattage I run my Atlantis at. Uh, if I really wanted to do a good comparison, I've been running my Atlantis on one of my custom parallel boxes. So actually, let's do a little bit of a comparison. I'm going to show the vapor production with the Atlantis on this box mod, then I'll put the Arctic tank on this and do the same thing. Uh, they're both running a 0.5 ohm coil, so... Alright, there's the uh, vapor production from the Atlantis. 
So let's go ahead and switch these around, actually. Uh, we'll put the Arctic tank on that box mod. And we will try it. And see if the um, vapor production is any better uh, in general. Uh, so... Find a spot to put my Atlantis. Take this Arctic tank, put it on top of my uh, wood box mod from that I got from Fog Mods. A little shout out for Fog Mods there. All right, see if it's gonna fire, and it will. All right, 3.7 volts on the batteries. So let's go ahead and give this a vape and see what the vapor production is on the same box mod that I just fired my Atlantis on. It fires okay, but not as good as the Atlantis on this box mod. Uh, I'd have to say that the Arctic tank is a tank that thrives on a variable voltage, variable wattage device. Uh, that's why I've been using it on my um, on my uh, MVP 3.0. So let's toss it back on here and uh, give it another vape. It's not a bad tank. I got this on sale for $24.99 at 88 eVape. Uh, here's their business card right here. 88 eVape. They sell a whole bunch of stuff from mechanical mods to RDAs, tanks, uh, drip tips, batteries, chargers, accessories, uh, coil building tools, uh, variable voltage, variable wattage devices, uh, starter kits, a whole bunch of stuff. All at really good prices. They are a China-based company. I will tell you that right now but they ship out of california i ordered this tank on friday night uh i'd say late late friday night maybe early saturday morning i ordered this and i i received it in two days today's monday so pretty good shipping with 88 evape definitely a thumbs up from them on that uh quite thrilled with their shipping uh i've only had issues with their shipping one time and and they were nice enough to fix that for me. So let's go ahead and give this another vape. It vapes awesome. We're going to up the wattage on it a little bit, actually. Let's go ahead and go to 28 watts, just for the hell of it. Definitely a nice tank. Definitely like the vapor production way better than the Atlantis. Uh, definitely check this out. This is the Arctic tank. Uh, better airflow. You have the choice of the two different coils. And yes, they are rebuildable. Uh, there are videos out there on YouTube uh, to where that teach you how to rebuild these coils. Which I will be checking them out once I need to rebuild them since I only have the two coils that it came with. Uh, but definitely definitely a great buy 24.99 it was on sale uh normally it runs about 28 dollars uh on 88 evate but they had it on sale for 24.99 so definitely a great buy if you like the sub ohm tanks uh definitely puts the atlantis to shame uh, i haven't tried the kanger sub tank yet so i wouldn't know about that one but it definitely puts the atlantis to shame so uh if you guys like what you see go ahead and click the like button down below Leave a comment in the comment section with any questions or concerns, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Check out leadbetter17p.net for uh, game downloads, tech downloads, uh, game videos, tech videos, and vape reviews. And there's also a donation button on there. Uh, if we can get enough donations, I'd like to put together a giveaway for an Arctic tank or an Atlantis for you guys, as long as you guys can donate towards one. Uh, we'll get you guys to donate a little bit, and uh, if we get enough to, uh, from donations, we'll I'll order a uh, Arctic tank or the Atlantis uh, version 1 or version 2, and we'll do a giveaway with it. So uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, check out 88evape.com. Link will be in the description below. Uh, great site, great deals. So until next time, this is Leadbetter17P. Keep on vaping.